What's going on YouTube? This is going to be a quick video. Uh, I recently got my new setup started and this is just me kind of testing it out here. But I'm also going to be showing you some uh, game clip for Rocket League on how to get some of the achievements pretty quick. So real quick, just started a match. It's a 1v1 and I'm playing an exhibition game against the computer. Uh, most of these achievements that I have here are actually done in this. Uh, you can win five game modes just by playing a uh, bot. It's actually very easy to win. They don't do too much. Uh, you get that, play an exhibition game, 1v1, and scoring six goals in a game is not that hard either against them. They really don't do too much in the way of defense. Uh, that one was just a random look of the draw again. And other things like this, just driving on the wall, 4v4, 2v2, all that I did in actual open play. But this is just simple stuff. Most of these to win a certain amount of games and things of that nature actually just come from playing by winning so many games. But you can do them easily by just playing right now against the bot. Like, the bots really suck. Like, I'm not even kidding. I don't know why my cars flipped over. Uh, they don't play defense. And there's also another achievement to score, not for the opponent not to score during the whole game. Uh, easily done against bots. The only reason you would go online is just really to play with friends. Uh, right here, I, they also mess up super easily. You can actually set the difficulty. So if you want it to be harder, that's completely possible. But I don't, of course. And right here, I'm just kind of trying to boost around for the other achievement. I'm not going to worry about scoring. I'm just really just going to play defense and I'll score the last second point of the game. But if you want to do any achievements, in this game do not try them online I mean you can you may randomly get achievements online but everything you can do in exhibition against the bot if you're just going for the achievements it was really fun for a while but now it's super cheap uh, it went on sale for a Christmas sale I believe it still is to be honest it was like $12 which I totally think it's worth that um, just due to the fact that oh snap uh, easy achievements really good fun there's a couple updates to it, but again, these things suck. But after telling you about those certain achievements, again, there's some to win like 20 games. There's probably some to win in different game modes. See, they scored right there. That's actually kind of rare. And I also just screwed up. I wasn't playing good defense on them. Uh, just trying to talk a little bit. And this game is actually better for let's plays and stuff if you're doing it in a group and playing online with them but this is just quick achievements that you can pop off in a matter of minutes and by winning the games uh, all they end up doing oh, oh, oh. Uh, winning the games you win an item at the end of it I don't know if that comes with a loss too because I've actually never lost a game on Rocket League um, you get items at the end, and that's one way to boost them. You get like 20 items and things of that nature. Just come sit in an exhibition game. You, if it does even come with losses, then you don't even have to play. Just start the game up and let it run. Uh, if you do have to win, of course, then just play. Put them on rookie. No, yeah. So if anybody's wondering, uh, my channel, I'm starting to take YouTube a little more serious. I don't have a lot of subscribers, I know, but I want to start working on games. i got a lot of friends I work with that do YouTube. Uh, and they're pretty good, so if you want to, you can check them out too. If you're into 2K and stuff, Double T Gaming, uh, he does a lot of YouTube and he is really good at guides for 2K, uh, things of VC, stuff like that. Uh, trying to get him to start doing more when we play our Pro AM games against people. I'm recording those, but I can do that now. Thought he was about to score me again right there. Um, so go check him out if you want. On my channel, I do a lot of reviews of things, but now uh, I've got a good recording set up. Took me a while to get it going, but now that I do, it'll just be easier to go ahead and uh, start doing my own gameplay. Hopefully y'all enjoy these. I know this one I'm a little rambly. Uh, not used to doing live commentary and stuff. Most stuff I have to do is uh, you have to record it and then go record audio for it. But doing live commentary is kind of be something I have to learn how to do. <clears throat> I am going to be doing a playthrough in 7 Days to Die. I did put up one video of that. I'm trying to do it on stream. But I had a crappy uh, 
crappy mic at the time. So right now, if you notice audio is any better or anything, it's because I'm using a mic. It's called a blue snowball. Uh, it's actually white. There is a blue version of this, I believe. But blue snowball. Uh, it's actually a very good mic. I'm trying to work on getting the stand though. But yeah, go check out Double T Gaming if you like playing 2K and things of that nature. That this person's actually good. I may not have put the difficulty down. So, again, go check him out. Check out my YouTube channel. If you like this, please subscribe. I know, not the best video in the world, but just letting you know that a lot of these achievements you can just do in, like, open play against a bot. But right now, I'm probably going to win this game 2-1, to one, uh, which I think is pretty bad. The first game I think I played against a bot, I scored 9 points, which is kind of funny. Oh, no, it just centered the ball. Let me know of other games you want me to do Let's Plays in and things of that nature. Um, gonna work more on live commentary games. Uh, had a couple of people that was watching my stream uh, want to join in and play Seven Days to Die with me. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, kind of get into it more now. I learned how to play it somewhat. When I first started, it was really hard and I was not good at it at all. But coming back into it now, it's pretty easy. I uh, don't have any issues with it. Nice. Uh, if you like my Clash Clan series, I just set up a new account. Uh, I'm going to start off the next episode by just doing a tutorial uh, for y'all to see. And then I'm uh, going to start from 0 to level 100. I'm of course going to upgrade my base, which is the fastest way to level up. But I'm going to see how fast I can get from level 0 to 100. Uh, which will be a lot of fun. I'm not going to buy anything with it, like no coins or gems or anything when I play. But... I think that'll be really fun to do. See, I'm getting items right there just from winning games, and then you can just go straight into the next match. But I'm not going to right now. But if you like this video, uh, please subscribe. Leave comments of games you would like for me to play. And uh, just let me know all around what you think I should do with my channel. I'm, of course, going to do more reviews of things. I already do reviews of... Hulu, Netflix, UFC, things of that nature, you can check out. I have a playlist of that, and I did band reviews for a while, uh, but it's kind of hard to find time to listen to whole albums long enough and enough times to actually take notes and write down things that I think would be good to bring up. But if you want to check all that out, that's also in my other playlist. But thanks for watching, and peace out.